I never liked the idea of console-specific arcade sticks and racing wheels, even though I ended up buying one. I always thought it would be cool if these things had inputs for multiple consoles. It's not as if the controller layout for all the three major game consoles are all that different. Which brings us to a budget stick that does just that. I've been wanting to try Killer Instinct 2013 with an arcade stick, and decided to keep my Mad Cats Tournament Edition 2 a collector's item. So I picked up the PXN0082 arcade stick. So it says here it's compatible with PC, PS3, PS4, X1, X-Series, XS, and Switch. Product features, system requirements, plug and play, turbo, macro, and support multi platform. My selling point. And the first thing we see, a nice thank you card. Well, you're welcome, but only if the thing works. Decent packaging. Well, that's the USB cable connected to the stick. What else? Some kind of form, not in English. A user's manual. Oh, a little packing foam on the bottom. It's better packaged than I thought it would be. Feels all right. Not bad, not great. Somewhere in between good and mediocre. I've seen a couple reviews for this stick, just searching to make sure it works on my console of choice, but they only mention and use PlayStation, Switch, or PC. Now in this review, it's Xbox's turn. Turn off the controller. Connect the controller to the stick. Connect the stick to the console. Press the home button on the controller to turn on the stick. Or in the case of the Xbox One controller, 
press and hold, which is a much better functionality than the PlayStation controllers, by the way. The PS button is bulged out, and you just have to tap it to turn on your console, which I've done accidentally many times. The Xbox One home button is flush with the rest of the controller, making it less likely to press accidentally, and you still have to hold it down for one second to turn on the console. Much better functionality and design. The DualShock is a pretty trash design overall anyways, in my opinion. It runs natively on Switch with a USB-C adapter, or straight to USB-A with the dock. Natively on PS3, and natively on PC. And with the controller, you can use it with the PS4 and the Xbox One. Now this is what I'm talking about. So it's a pretty neat system. The stick piggybacks the controller for the inputs, and then connects to the console. Very clever. I haven't played a fighting game with a stick since 94. Give me a minute to get back into it here.
had a problem with the circle commands on sticks too. That's why my main is TJ. Okay, I'm getting used to it. Working pretty good. Rayman Legends, a little more of a straightforward game, works perfectly fine. I couldn't resist trying a game that you wouldn't normally use with a stick. Little need for speed action. Now this takes some getting used to, but trust me, I'm a f wizard at this game with a controller. You're just gonna have to take my word for it.
Oh, <laughs> 